coming up on Orange Zest, updates on Kanye's health scare, all the details about the annual Victoria's Secret fashion show, and Taylor Swift's announcement that will allow fans to get an even closer look into her life. Hi guys, welcome back to another webisode of Orange Zest. I'm Jackie Prager. This week was filled with wardrobe malfunctions, surprise performances, and shocking TV announcements. Let's jump right into our top story. The Kardashians have many reasons to celebrate this week. On Wednesday, the family threw a small house party to celebrate Kanye West's release from the UCLA Medical Center, where he has been under medical supervision for over a week. West was admitted to the hospital for exhaustion and sleep deprivation. This comes after he abruptly canceled his St. Pablo tour. On Thursday, TMZ recovered the 911 call made by West physician Dr. Michael Farzam, where he tells dispatchers that he believes West should be hospitalized. Kim Kardashian West left her new New York appearance to be by her husband's side as he recovered. People magazine reported that insiders close to the rappers, rappers say November has always been a difficult month for Wes because his mother passed away nine years ago in November. As Wes is home to recover, the family says they are focusing on celebrating the son's saint's first birthday next week. And the much-anticipated yearly Victoria's Secret fashion show did not disappoint this year. Wednesday night, the show premiered in Paris, starring some familiar faces. Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, and her sister Bella were just a few of the angels who strutted down the runway in their wings. One highlight of the night was Gigi Hadid's wardrobe malfunction when her front strap came off while walking down the runway. Many didn't even notice the mishap because her many years of modeling prepared her for this moment, so she was able to recover flawlessly, and the show went on without a Pitch. The girl's mother Yolanda Hadid tweeted out a picture of Gigi and Bella as little girls in angel wings with the caption quote, 17 years after I photographed my angels. Today is the day they will be walking in the fashion show together. To add to the show, musical guests included Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars, and The Weeknd. Be sure to catch the show on December 5th on CBS. And good news for Netflix binge watchers. On Wednesday, the company announced subscribers can now download their shows and watch them offline for no extra cost. This means viewers do not have to be connected to any sort of data plan or Wi-Fi in order to view their shows. I know this sounds too good to be true, but it is happening. Except there are a few requirements. Only offline features work on the Netflix app, so users cannot watch offline on their laptops yet. Also, not every title on Netflix is available to watch offline, but the company says they are working on expanding the amount of videos offered. This announcement comes as Netflix is having to compete with iTunes, Amazon Prime, and other video streaming services who also offer video download features. And as December rolls around and 2016 is coming to a close, Ed Sheeran fans can rejoice because the singer has finally decided to end his year off from performing. For his big comeback, the singer stopped by the East Anglican Children Hospice Gala to perform for an audience of just 350 guests at the Natural History Museum in London. Before beginning the show, Sheeran told the crowd it was nice to be back and quote, this is the first time I've done a show in a year, so please bear with me. All the proceeds raised from the gala went to the organization's proposed hospice this site. And in other music news, Taylor Swift is making big headlines this week. Forbes has named the multi-platinum singer the 2016 highest paid musician in the world. This comes as no surprise since the singer has racked in an estimated $170 million this year. The singer also announced this week that she will soon have her own TV station called Taylor Swift Now. Swift is partnering with AT&T to stream the channel through the company's Direct TV Now streaming service. AT&T is calling the channel quote, a new destination for unique and never seen Taylor Swift videos. The site will be regularly updated to add video and commentaries about current events and shows in Swift's life. And if that wasn't enough, T Swift is also set to headline the Super Saturday Night Concert in Houston the night before the Super Bowl on February 4th. And University of Texas students were given the surprise of a lifetime when they were picked up by actor Matthew McConaughey Monday night. McConaughey partnered with the Sure Walk program put together by the university's student government. The program is a volunteer-based agency that takes students home from campus late at night. The agency is focused on promoting safety across college campuses by offering rides between the hours of 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. According to CBS, the agency's director contacted McConaughey, who is a Texas alum, and she said that the actor was excited to be a part of the agency he believed in. 
Students were surprised by the actor who was driving around for over an hour picking up students across campus. And to say the least, I think every student who was picked up by the actor was all right, all right, all right with it. And well, that's all the fresh squeeze we have for you this week. Be sure to check out Bella Grella and Joyce Kim for another fresh five minutes. I'm Jackie Prager. Stay zesty, Syracuse.